Okay, welcome back here. We are now on binder number 14 as we're trying to get these done. We left off with Vader, and we're going to keep going and move our way along, okay? We're very close to being done. There's only 15 binders. We got two more small ones left. Here we go. So we open this one up. This is from um, the Clash of the Champions in January 94. It's Vader and Ric Flair, dual sign. So there you see it. Or if it's not then, maybe it was late 93. I'm not sure. I believe this is, it could be late 93, early, early 94. I'm not sure. But there it is. It says Vader over here. Ric Flair, 16-time champion over there. So there's a nice dual sign picture of Vader press slamming Ric Flair at the uh, the Clash of the Champions, which was, I'm guessing, either the November 93 one or the January 94 one. But a cool um, dual sign picture there of Vader and Flair. All right, next one here, another dual sign one. Um, look at that guy who's selling guy with me. But this is Vader and Harley Race, so it's like a very older signature of Vader. So over here he wrote Vader time, and then there's Harley Race signing over there. So nice dual sign photo of Vader with Harley Race. This was, um, I guess, towards the end of Vader's um or race his career in WCW. He's holding the United States titles, which he won in December 94. So this picture is either from December 94 or January 95, because race would leave after that. But this is Vader along with Harley Race. Nice dual sign photo of those two together. I was actually supposed to meet them together back in 2012, but Vader got into a confrontation with the people at Legends of the Ring convention, and he had to leave early. So they basically refunded me. And paid me five dollars to get to take a picture of Harley Race and get two items signed, which is pretty cool. But this one is dual signed by Vader and Harley Race. All right, our next one is Val Venus. Hello, ladies. Sign right here, Val Venus. Nice one of the blue background here of the lovely Val Venus. Hello, ladies. Okay, you had a lot of fun. Here's Vampiro. So I don't even know what that exactly says. He draws symbols and stuff, like kind of like Jeff Hardy, but very artsy guy. So that's Vampiro from WCW in the late 90s and early 2000s. Vampiro. Next up is Heavy Metal Van Hammer. He gave this one directly to me through the mail. It says, to Todd, thanks for watching, Van Hammer. And there he is jamming. So Van Hammer, who... Uh, Competed in WCW around like 91, 94, then came back later in Raven's Flock. Very interesting picture of Van Hammer. Not too many autographs of him out there, so nice to have uh, this one of him jamming on the guitar and a pretty cool uh, inscription. Next up, I got this one from Marty T. Mart D'Amato. This is the Varsity Club, so signed by all three members. We have Rick Steiner here. Kevin Sullivan there, and Mike Rotunda up there. So it's Rick Steiner, Kevin Sullivan, Mike Rotunda, all three of them, the Varsity Club. So let's take a look at the signatures closely. All right, good. And I'm going to move on to the next one. Next up is Velvet McIntyre. Not many graphs of her out there. So she signed it down here. Said something best. Oh, best of luck. Okay. Best of luck, Velvet McIntyre. And there she is in her leper outfit. She was a female wrestler um, around like 86, 87, maybe even 88, maybe even back to 85. I'm not sure. But Velvet McIntyre did the giant swing. Good worker. So cool autograph here of Velvet McIntyre in the collection. And that came from TNT Authentics. Next, speaking of Velvets, this is Velvet Sky, signed up here, Velvet Sky. There she is holding her high heels and posing, Velvet Sky. Next, we have, excuse me, Vicky Guerrero. She wrote, excuse me, Vicky Guerrero. Cool inscription there from Vicky Guerrero. Up next is Victoria, signed right here, Victoria. On a WWF photo file from or WWE photo file from 2003. So the crazy psycho Victoria, she's back. Okay. And here's another one of Victoria. I believe that one came from the Wrestling Universe. There she is with this spider web out outfit, and Victoria signed up there. Victoria. Okay, there's the cert from Wrestling Universe. This one I got from a signing by Marty D'Amato. T-Mart Promotions. It's the Berserker. 
he wrote to Todd, best wishes, the Viking. So this is why it's under V for Viking. So I mean, what aggressive him as the Viking. So I actually had him write the Viking, AKA also known as the Berserker. Huss, huss. So there it is. So the Viking, who would later uh, rename himself the Berserker. So he was called the Viking um, in February and March 91. And then after WrestleMania 7, he's changed his name to the Berserker. So. Not many people have him sign it as the Viking, so very happy to have that in my collection. I got again from a virtual signing with um, T Mart Promotions. So there he is, the Viking. All right, next one is a um, it's a triple signed photo of some rare guys on a magazine page. So we have both Vianos. So it says Saludos de Mexico, Viano five. Over here it says Tu Amigo, Viano four, and then on the bottom. The third guy, Liz Mark Jr. So we have both Viano. So again, Viano 5 on top getting uh, – it's Viano 4 getting press land, but Viano 5 signed up there. Viano 4 signed over here in the middle. And then Liz Mark Jr. signed there on the bottom. So very cool to have all three autographs in one piece, uh, the Vianos and Liz Mark Jr. And there's the back of that magazine page. All right, next one is the old signature of Vince McMahon. This came from one of the Gore brothers, so probably um, Dan Gore, I'm guessing. So it says Vince McMahon right there. And there he is with Rowdy Roddy Piper, ready to commentate on superstars of wrestling. And the nice old school signature of Vince McMahon. And speaking of the old signature of Vince McMahon, another guy that Bob Piveroff had met is Vince McMahon. So it says Vince McMahon, and there's Bob with him, Vince smiling. So a nice picture there of Bob Piveroff meeting Vince McMahon. And then here's that crummier, newer signature of Vince McMahon, which just scribbles like his VKM or something. So Vincent Kennedy McMahon. There he is cutting a promo, probably on a Raw or some kind of thing during the Attitude Era. Vince McMahon. All right, moving along, we have uh, his buddy that he hired, Vince Russo. So it says, peace, Vince Russo with the cross. And there he is, Vince Russo um, in the picture here. The guy Rosie wrote for, called Vic Venom, wrote for the magazine, and then really thought he was like a promoter, came up with the booking ideas during the Attitude Era and went to WCW later. Vince Russo, the New Yorker. And here's the Vin Man, Vinny Vegas, rolling the dice. So Vinny Vegas signed up there. Diesel, Kevin Nash having a lot of fun as Vinny Vegas. Cool picture there of a WCW photo file from WCW with Vinny Vegas. All right, next up, the Million Dollar Champion, Virgil. So he signed Virgil down there. Nice picture of him with the Million Dollar title when he was champion between SummerSlam 91 and November of 91. So Virgil with the Million Dollar Belt as a babyface. Nice picture there. Very serious there. All right, and then on the back, so Bob Piveroff also got to meet Virgil. So he signed it here, Virgil. And there's Bob with Virgil. Um, I think back when he was a heel, it was just around like WrestleMania 4 or WrestleMania 5 time. Virgil with Bob Piveroff. And here's a nice combo one. This might be even from the Rumble 91 or sometime around there where DiBiase's telling Virgil, he'll get down your knees and do some dirty work for me. So he signed Virgil down there. DiBiase signed by his feet. Ted DiBiase with a million-dollar sign. And a nice action shot of DiBiase cutting a promo, wanting Virgil to do his dirty work for him. Funny stuff there. Virgil and DiBiase. I had to guess it would be Rumble 91, but I don't know for sure, though. He's not in his wrestling outfit, though. Virgil and DiBiase, folks. And one more thing of Virgil. This is like some WWF piece of paper or autograph sheet. And Virgil signed it up here. So that's Virgil. And I think that's enough Virgil autographs for today. We'll go on the next section. Here we have a combo. It's Vladimir Kozlov right over here. And Santino Morella signed it in blue. You know, it's kind of tough to see, though, because it's like on a – he's got blue and black tights. But you see it clearly there. Santino and Vladimir Kozlov, they were a tag team um, in the early 2010s, maybe 2009. There they are together, Kozlov and Santino. All right, next up, um, another Bob Piveroff one here. This is Wahoo McDaniel with Bob Piveroff. So there's Wahoo McDaniel. Not many autographs of him out there, so nice to get one uh, signed of 
him meeting Bob's Wahoo McDaniel along with Bob Piverell. All right, next up is the Warlord. There he is from his Powers of Pain days, the big mighty Warlord. All jacked up on muscles, the Warlord in the Powers of Pain. Okay. Here's another one, the Warlord. He mailed this one directly to me. He wrote to Todd, thank you for being a great fan. The Warlord 2013. And there's the Powers of Pain with Mr. Fuji. Only signed by the Warlord, though, which he gave me... Um, this is Warlord in the picture. That's, that's Barbarian, but sign over here, Warlord. And a cool, cool inscription um, that was mailed to me in 2013. He's out. He lives out in Florida, by the way. Assuming he's still there. And there's another one of the Warlord. This is the, the uh, Alpha News Match by Slick in like 90, 91, early 92. So it says the Warlord with the, um, the Phantom of the Opera mask and the chains and the big W wand stick he carries. So the big Warlord. There he is as a singles wrestler and uh, how he signed it there. All right, moving along. That came from Wrestling Universe, that one, by the way. Right, next one is Waylon Mercy. Life's are gonna be Waylon Mercy's hands. You know what I mean? There he is with a cool dagger on his head. Sign over here, Waylon Mercy. Nice color photo of him. Dan Spivey really enjoyed that gimmick, Waylon Mercy. He would like shake hands with the jobber, shake hands with the referee, and then just go psycho. Everyone love Waylon Mercy. You know what I mean? There he is. Waylon Mercy. Excellent gimmick from 1995 WWF. Here's an extremely rare autograph. I got this one from Ray Gore. It's well done. So they wrote, to Ray, best wishes, Timothy Well, well done. And over here, he signed it, Stephen Dunn. So both Timothy Well and Stephen Dunn. So they were Rex King and Steve Dahl, collectively known as well done. Here they are on a magazine page. Signed by both men. Not many well-done autographs out there at all. I did actually get um, Rex King on a card through the mail. And he promised me some 8x10s later or some other extra things. But it was like really hot up in the attic wherever he stored it. And then tragically, now he passed away. So I never got the extra items. But I bought this one. It's pretty expensive, though, from Ray Gore about two years ago. And um, nice to have a well-done dual signed piece, though, by Rex King and Steve Dahl. And there's the back of the magazine. Next up, I got this one from Bobby Grambling. This is Wendell Cooley. So there's Wendell Cooley over here. Uh, he was like a gimmick that lasted brief in WCW around 1990. Wendell Cooley. Next up is Wendy Richter. Beautiful uh, signature over there. There she is with the ladies championship. So Wendy Richter as the women's champion. And on the back, you see the signing. It's from a guy named Jimmy D's Collectibles. He gives the whole cert, the picture, proof of signing, his business card, all that. So that's from Jimmy D. All right, next up is Shawn Michaels' wife, Whisper, who was the Nitro Girl on an original WCW promo picture. So this is Whisper, WCW, NWO, Whisper. Shh. There she is, Rebecca, um, Shawn Michaels' eventual wife, Whisper. All right, next up, this one's interesting. Jim the Anvil Iheart played the gimmick called Who in 1996. And it was a, kind of like an Abba Costello rib, like who's on first. So he actually wrote Anvil Who. So it's like kind of saying like trying to trick. So we know we know Jim Neihardt signed this, but he just signed also with Who with a question mark. So very funny to have um, Jim Neihardt signing as Who. I'm guessing this go, would go for at least $50 these days, if not more. So we have Who which was um, Jim the Anvil Nighthorn, as you see from the hairy chest and everything. All right. Moving along, we have the Wild Samoans, signed by both. So Sika over here, Afa over there, Captain Lou in the picture, but it's only signed by Sika and Afa. To my knowledge, both the Wild Samoans are still alive to this day. And again, that guy called Jimmy D here, again, using his cert. Proof of the signing of the two guys signing that actual photo when it happened. So Afa and Sika, uh, the Wild Samoans. We saw Lord Stephen Regal earlier with Sir William. Here he is as William Regal, though, from his WWE days. So William Regal right there, grabbing the microphone, cutting a promo in his suit, probably when he was the commissioner, William Regal. All right, next one, a rare one. This is the guy who would say, Sullivan, my son. I bring you Shark, Sullivan, my son. I bring you Kamala. So the wizard. So he signed it as wizard over here. 
Rhea standing in the aisleway. It looks like Sika is behind him. So the legendary wizard here, he manages Kamal and Sika around 86 and 87 and later um, the Dungeon of Doom in WCW 94-95. So very cool to have Curtis Iakea, the wizard, um, have his autograph in my collection there. I know it's a little blurry there because the sun, so you see his face clearly. Wizard. And next up is well, we saw we saw the both PG thirteen earlier. This one though is only signed by Wolfie D. America it was Eric Sims who brought him in and JC Ice no showed. So we just got Wolfie D here. So he was pretty pissed off at Jamie Dundee. But that's Wolfie D from PG thirteen. Uh, moving on, here we have Nancy Woman. Man, woman, woman, won't you marry me now? Woo! Ric Flair loved her. There it says woman right here. Nice blue top. Very sexy. PSA certed. There's the PSA cert in the back. So you get a very hot picture there of woman. And nice signature there of woman too. So woman from WCW. And don't forget, Bob Pivroff meets everybody. So he decided to meet woman too. So there's Bob. There's woman. Signed woman there by her um, her sweater right here. Woman. Hope you can see it well. Yep, you see that well. So woman with Bob Pivroff. You got the cert from the other thing, and even on the back of this magazine page is another one of women. So nice pictures of women. All right, next we have um, Adam Baum or you know Wrath, whatever you want to call him. So it says Wrath, WCW, 1997, 1999. Adam Baum, the Night Stalker, signed all his gimmicks here just for the hell of it. There he is as Wrath though on the um, WCW promo picture. So very cool one there of Wrath. I was actually the first wrestler I met. So I met him at Sports World back in 1994. And there's there he is signing it for me, uh, the whole picture. So that, that's proof of Wrath just signing this picture for me. Okay. Next one's a nice one. This is I label this under W for WrestleMania three, and it's got signed by a bunch of names here. So we have Tito Santana here. He wrote Tito Santana. Jim the Anvil Nightheart signed it. Brett the Hitman Hart. Jimmy Hart signed this. Billy Jack Haynes signed this. Jake the Snake Roberts signed this, and the Hunky Tonk Man signed this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven signatures on this very cool WrestleMania three piece here. So again, it's Tito, the Hart Foundation, Jimmy Hart, Billy Jack Haynes, Jake the Snake, and the Hunky Tonk Man. So very, very nice one there. I think from those guys, only the Anvil has since passed away. All right, just like WrestleMania three, I got one for WrestleMania five as well. This one is signed by Mean Gene Oakland, the Brooklyn Brawler up there, Jim the Anvil Niner over here, the Hunky Tonk Man over there, Brett the Hitman Hart over here, um, Smash and Axe Demolition, Bobby Heenan here on the bottom, and Jimmy Hart, the Mouth of the South. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine signatures on this one. So a pretty cool WrestleMania five piece here. That is signed by nine guys on this one. So very cool stuff here. WrestleMania 5, Trump Plaza Hotel. All right, and we also have one for WrestleMania 10 as well. WrestleMania 10 is signed by Rezo Ramon Chico, Brett the Hitman Hart, the 123 Kid, um, Alundra Blaze, Shawn Michaels, Lex Luger, and Diesel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven signatures here on the WrestleMania 10 one. Again, Razor Ramon, Bret Hart, Alundra Blaze, the one, two, three kids, Shawn Michaels, Lex Luger, and Diesel. Our right, next one of WrestleMania 10. All right, here's a rare one. This one, I believe, came from Scott Ferenzi. It is Santa Claus. So he wrote Season's Greetings, Santa Claus, who was you know, played by Balls Mahoney. So there he is, Santa Claus. There's not many autographs out there of Santa Claus. All right, next up is X-Pac. And there he signed X-Pac over there. So there's a full photo of X-Pac. Next one is dual signed by X-Pac and Tori. So X-Pac signed it down here. Tori over here. Looks like Tori really rushed it. She didn't even get her eye in. Just looks like Tor she wrote or something. So that's when they get together, though, and she would, like, pose in that position, and X-Pac would do the sucker thing, jumping up in the air. So it's X-Pac and Tori from a 2000 uh, WWF Raw is War. So, again, X-Pac and Tori. There they are in the picture. 
Next up is the mighty Yokozuna. A lot of people have this photo and ridiculous what he sells for now. When I bought it, it was way cheaper. So it says Yokozuna. There he is with the World Wrestling Federation Championship. And um, yeah, I can't believe what the hell it goes for now. Thank, thank God I started collecting, like I said, 10 years ago um, when the prices were fair. So Yokozuna. And there in the back is the cert of Yokozuna from Power Play Sports Cards. Next up is Yoshi Tatsu. I know he won the um, WrestleMania Dark Match Battle Royal, WrestleMania 26 in 2010. So it says Yoshi Tatsu. Next up is the Young Pistols. I uh, got this one from Eric Sims. So we have Tracy Smothers. Then they wrote the Young Pistols. And Steve Armstrong signed on the bottom. So there it is, Steve Armstrong, Tracy Smothers, Young Pistols, the whole tag team name is inscribed. Nice combination of the Young Pistols, very hard to get those, not many out there. Next up is the Young Stallions. I got both of these in person. I used to help Jim Powers with indie bookings, and uh, so it says Young Stallions, Jim Powers, and Paul Roma. So I got what you got from Powers when I worked with him in like 2007. He wrote to Todd, best of luck, Jim Powers, or this might have been 2008 actually, my bad. And then I met Paul Roma later. He signed it, Paul Roma. So there they are together, Jim Powers and Paul Roma, the Young Stallions. And there's a picture of them. This is when I met them together in um, 2013 at WrestleMania weekend. I got Roma to sign. He wrote Pretty Paul Roma. So very nice. And here's Zach Gowan. Remember the one-legged wrestler? So here he's in a WWE t-shirt. And it's just signed Zach Gowan up there on top. So pretty cool one of Zach Gowan. And woo-woo, Mr. Long Island. Zach Ryder here, the guy who loves his wrestling figures. It is signed Zach Ryder. Nice big signature. And that one came from um, TNT Authentics. And we are now done here with Binder 14. I have one more to go, so I'll get that done. And then I'm going to peace out for the day. Have a good one, everybody. <clears throat>